Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So school has started back up and that means school lunches. I am going to try and film some of my kids uh, school lunches that I make for them uh, this year. And so to start off this week, I thought I would just share with you some of my favorite school lunch packing supplies as well as some of the supplies that I use to pack my husband and I's lunches. Um, and that way, if you guys are interested in getting any of these, I will have links in the description box below if I can find them. Some of these things I've purchased um, a while ago, so I'm not sure if they're still available, but I will do my best. So just to get started, I will show you um, kind of our process for deciding on lunch. So every month I print out the school lunch calendar and then each weekend I go through it with my kids and they can decide what two days that they want to eat school lunch. So I let them, let them I guess, whatever <laughs> whatever you want to say, I allow them to eat school lunch two days a week and then the other three days I pack their lunch. Um, I don't really have anything against school lunch but I've been there before for lunch and I don't always think that it is uh, either A, the most appetizing or B, the most nutritionally sound and plus I would rather just um, pack their food that way I know what they're getting and that way I know that um, I'm not wasting money that I'm using uh, the groceries that I already have in the house but I know that there are certain things that they like and so that has worked out for us just to eat two days a week so like for this week they're both going to eat lunch on Monday and Wednesday so Monday they're going to have mozzarella pizza sticks with marinara sauce the alternate is cheeseburger and then the sides are broccoli and orange slices and then on Wednesday they actually like the orange chicken that the school has so they're both going to eat that so it's orange chicken with brown rice peas and carrots and pineapple so that is kind of how we approach it um, you know I don't want to tell them that they can't eat school lunch at all so um, that is just what has worked out for us so now let me show you some of the products that I have here Okay, so to pack lunches in, uh, this is Kira's lunch box in the box, and this is Connor's lunch box. This is actually the second year that Connor has been using his. It's an Under Armour lunch box. I really like this one. It is super sturdy. It has held up really well. I like that the inside is lined with hard plastic. That way it's super easy to wipe out and disinfect. And I like that it's large enough so that if I want to use some larger containers, they can still fit down in there with an ice pack. So I'm really liking that one. Um, I actually picked it up um, randomly um, at the store at work, but I'm sure I can find something um, similar on Amazon for you guys. So Kira's Lunchbox, uh, last year she had a unicorn one that I got from Amazon. It did not hold up very well, so we ended up tossing it. And then this year she wanted one from Justice. And so I found this one. I think it's supposed to look like a mermaid. And then it has her initial on the front. This one's a little bit smaller than Connor's, but so far it has been fine to hold everything. There's lining on the inside so you can easily wipe it out. And then there's a zipper pouch up here as well that you can put either your ice pack or other snacks in. So those have been working out well so far this year. Um, what I have been using recently to take my lunch in is this cooler that um, is available on Amazon. The brand is LifeWit. Um, I like the color of it. It's like a nice neutral color, so it's like gray and blue. It's got an outside pocket here that's nice and big, so if you wanted to throw some cheese sticks in there or something. I actually don't. Um, I want to preface that by saying I have a refrigerator um, near my office and so I don't have to take anything with an ice pack I just use this to transport it and then I put it in the fridge when I get to work but if you did have to keep yours cold all day this one is nice and deep you can see here I have one of these glass meal prep containers and this is pretty thick and even when I put this down in here there's still a ton of room so if you wanted to put some bottled water or other drinks in there there would be plenty of room for that it also has side pockets for um, anything that you wanted to throw in there. It zips up. It has both a handle and a um, carrying strap. So 
I just thought I would share that. I do think it's really good quality and I've been enjoying using that. And now this is very random and not particularly related to lunch packing, but I wanted to show you guys anyway. So this is the same brand um, from Amazon. It's the Life Whip brand. It's a gray double-decker casserole carrier. So I haven't had the chance to use this yet, but come holiday season, I will definitely be transporting casseroles to family gatherings. So I just put one of my 9x13 pans in the bottom here just so you could kind of see the size of it. So this is the bottom layer. It is insulated so that it will keep your um, casserole warm. So you could fit one down there and then this flips down. You could also fit another one on top of it and then close the lid. So um, I thought this was really nice. I um, have a casserole carrier but not one that's like a double decker. So I'm actually really looking forward to using that once the holidays get here. Um, okay, so now let's get on to the rest of the lunch supplies. All right, so plastic containers are some of my most used items. Um, these are nice just because there's re they are reusable. They keep your food separate so that things don't get wet or mushy. And then also you don't have to use um, Ziploc bags. So it's more, a sus more of a sustainable option. So for divided containers, I have a few different ones that I use. This one is the um, Easy Lunch Boxes brand. Uh, these are available on Amazon. You can see that they have, actually someone has microwaved this one at some point. You can see that it's kind of um, peeled off in there, but it has the larger size and then two of the smaller containers um, on the side. And then these are probably actually my favorite, the Ziploc brand. These are hard to find in the store, but I have found them online. Um, they fit a sandwich nicely here and then on the side you could put like some goldfish and some fruit or maybe some veggies and dip or something. So my kids use these a lot or I use these a lot to pack lunches for them. So that's that. And then these divided containers are more like a snack box size. Um, they come with four equal size containers. I use these for the kids and then I've also used them to prep snack boxes for Adam and myself to take to work. So actually this weekend I just made some with like hard boiled egg, beef sticks, cheese, and some nuts. Um, so you can kind of make your own protein packs. These are also from Amazon. They're the Easy Lunchbox brand. These I actually picked up from Target several years ago. Um, if I can find them, I will link them, but they are the Fuel brand and they basically come with a spreader in here so if you wanted to like put cream cheese in here or something that needed to be spread you could do that but what I have used these for is doing like carrot sticks or carrot chips and ranch to send the kids with I've done these use them for myself with like hummus and veggies um, they are a little bit smaller so not a ton of food fits in here. Another thing I've done is done pretzels with Nutella for the kids to take to school. Um, so they've used these both in their lunch and to take for snack, but they're really cute. So I wanted to share those. And then similar um, to those is this Sistema brand. Um, anytime I go to like Home Goods or TJ Maxx, I always look through their plastic containers section to see what I can find. And I believe I found this one at home goods but it's essentially the same thing as this one except it's a little bit larger so here you can fit like I've done in here um, fruit like cut up berries and then put yogurt to dip in there this thing snaps down and then you put the lid on um, if I can get it on sorry I'm trying to do this while holding the camera um, so yeah that's that one this is a preserve sandwich container. Um, preserve is the name brand. I actually get these on Grove Collaborative, but I've also seen them before um, at Home Goods, I believe. So these are sandwich size containers, but another thing I like to do with these is put some silicone muffin tins down or muffin cups down in there and then you can make like a little snack box for your kids. They always think that's super fun. So I really like those containers. Um, next I just have some different sandwich containers. So I have a Shopkins one for Kira. These are the kind that flip open. Same as this one. I believe I got both of these on Amazon. And then this sandwich container is a little bit smaller and it just has the pop-off lid. You can actually find these at Dollar Tree a lot and I think maybe that's where I found this one. 
Um, so mostly I just use those for uh, regular sandwiches. Um, this container actually has um, peanut butter crackers in it. I pulled it out of the pantry to show you guys, but this is similar to the Sistema containers, except it is the Dollar Tree brand, and these come three in a package for a dollar, so it's a great buy. Um, if your kids lose them, it's not a big deal, but I like to put snacks in here. The kids can take these for their snack for school or take them to have you know, after swim or soccer practice. Um, and this is much nicer than a Ziploc bag because your crackers don't get crushed in there. Okay, so next I have this divided container that I actually picked up from Justice when I got Kira's lunchbox. Um, it, it's, it's okay. Kira, I think, likes it just because it's from Justice. Um, I haven't been putting it in the dishwasher just because I'm not sure how it will hold up, but it does seem to be sturdy and the... Um, Dividers here are silicone, so theoretically it would be leak proof. Um, but she has been liking taking this because it's specifically made for the Justice lunch boxes, and so it fits um, perfectly in there. So that's that. And then probably my favorite supply of all, if I only had to choose one uh, lunch supply that I could use, it would be the Yum boxes. I actually have three of these. I have this red one this purple one, and then I have a teal one that's in the cupboard. I'm actually looking into getting some of the larger size ones too for Adam and I, but these are super fun. Um, the insert here kind of pops out, and so you can either hand wash this, or you can even put this, these in the dishwasher too. They're dishwasher safe. Um, personally, I don't like to put the outside shell in the dishwasher just because it has the rubber up here, and I want to make sure that I preserve that, but these are leak proof. So if you put anything in there, like yogurt or pudding, or like even if you put berries that are wet, um, this seal keeps it from getting into the other compartments. And then they're really easy to for the kids to latch and unlatch, and they fit perfectly in um, our lunch boxes. So we've really loved using those and have used them for the past several years. I don't know if these specific designs are still available just because they change every season, but I will leave a link to um, this size down below. Okay, so I also have some things that I pulled out of the fridge because they had food in them, but I just wanted to show you. So these yogurt cups I actually got at Walmart. I'm not sure if they still have them, but if I can find them, I'll link them. So in the bottom there, you can just put your yogurt and your fruit, and then the top screws off, and then this part is separate. So you can put your granola in there so that it doesn't get soggy. So those, we love those. Kira likes taking them for lunches, and Adam and I take them um, to work for breakfast as well. These containers are also some of my favorites. I've actually picked them up at Aldi in the past. They have them randomly there, but you can get them online as well. These are also the Sistema brand, and they're just a divided container. So this, in this one, I have some carrot chips and some broccoli and cauliflower and a hummus cup. Um, but I put all kinds of stuff in here. Sometimes I put like cube cheese in one side and grapes in the other. But they're just great for a quick snack. And I've also used them um, for the kids' lunches too. This is also a Sistema container. And I believe I got this at Home Goods. Um, but it's kind of a similar concept where the lid lifts off and then you have this tray on the inside here that you can um, pull out. So you could put like crackers in there and then put your meat and cheese in the bottom so that the crackers don't get soggy. So that is a fun one. Um, for, for vegetables, sometimes I like to use this crinkle cutter. Um, this came from Amazon as well, but it just does like a fun little wavy line. Um, if you want to cut cheese or cucumbers or carrots or something with this just to make it a little bit funner so that the kids will eat their vegetables. Um, I do have a couple reusable Ziploc bags. This one is the sandwich size, and I got this one from Grove Collaborative, but you can also find these on um, Amazon as well. They are washable, so you can just wash them and dry them out like you would any other dish. Um, I also think that they're dishwasher safe. I believe I've put these in the dishwasher before, but I can't remember for sure. The only thing about these is that Sometimes, like, we, we ha had a snack size one, and one of my kids threw it away. And so that's kind of irritating, you know, because you, sp you spend money on it, and then they accidentally throw it in the trash. But, you know, whatever. 
Okay, so for small kind of like dressing or snack containers, um, I have these two sizes. This one is the Systema brand, and it's just a little screw-off container, so that's great for dressing or dip. And then I also have these little um, dip containers as well. I use these for the kids just to give them a little bit of ranch to dip their veggies in. They seem to think those are fun, and it's just a perfect size for them so that they don't waste a bunch of dressing. Um, for these containers you can actually get them at Aldi and these are great for putting like a little treat in or I'm sorry not Aldi Dollar Tree <laughs> um, they come in like a big sleeve so you get several of them they have a circle size and a square size um, but these are just fun to put either like dip or dressing or a little bit of yogurt or even a little sweet treat in so I have those these are hard-boiled egg shapers. I got these on Amazon. So basically you hard-boil your egg, you pop it in here, and then you close it and leave it in the refrigerator overnight and it will mold the hard-boiled egg to look like one of these shapes. So those are fun for the kids. I have some different picks um, that I use once in a while, little eyeball picks. I have a little, couple little spiders in here for Halloween. Uh, these little animal picks, so all these came from Amazon. I also use um, the silicone muffin cups a lot. So my um, circle ones are actually all dirty right now. They're in the dishwasher, but um, these are the square size and these are the rectangle size. So these are great for putting like in this type of container. You can um, put the muffin cups in there and kind of, you know, do like a little bento box and separate your food. As far as cutters go, I did not get out all my cutters. I just got out a few, for example. This is a Hello Kitty one that I believe I got on Amazon. Kira really thinks that is fun. And then this is a dinosaur one. I think I got this at Walmart. I'm not sure. But this cuts, cuts the sandwich into two pieces, so I've used that before for Connor. And then I have a set of little cutters. These are fun to use to cut sandwiches in little shapes and they actually fit perfectly in the little um, yum box divided containers so I use those a lot with that. You can also use these to cut like cheese into shapes and just different fun things. For silverware I usually send them either with these um, reusable plastic silverware um, just because I don't care if these accidentally get thrown away, but these are from Walmart or um, I bought these tiny little disposable silverwares at Dollar Tree before. I don't have any of the forks left, but I had some of the spoons just to show you. So those are disposable, but the kids think they're fun. And then lastly, I just have a bunch of themed supplies that I keep on hand. Sometimes I like to do themed lunches. Um, Kira's actually probably getting a little bit old. She's in fourth grade. She, <laughs> she told me last year that someone was making fun of her for having a themed lunch, and I was like, well, that's, you know, not very nice, and they're probably just jealous that, you know, they don't have a nice packed lunch like you. I didn't know what to say. Um, and she said, no, that's fine. I like them. I don't care. So <laughs> anyway, we'll see. But um, I just, every time I see, like, cute muffin cups or just anything I think I can use um, either at Walmart or Target or wherever I'm at I just pick them up so I have some Batman cups, some Shopkins cups, some Paw Patrol um, little jellies these are fun to like put on top of yogurt or something like that some Hello Kitty napkins, some Batman jellies um, these I actually got at Walmart when um, it was Easter season last year so I think they're supposed to be like Easter eggs but these are fun to put um, like little treats in and stick them in the kids lunch boxes um, you can also use cupcake picks so like I have these Paw Patrol um, cupcake picks these are fun to just kind of put in there just to make it look look cute um, I have some Paw Patrol muffin cups some Paw Patrol of those little containers too um, for Easter last year I did Easter themed lunches so I got these little containers from Walmart there's carrots oh no actually I think I got them from Hobby Lobby so there's carrots and these little bunnies some Easter egg cups some Easter egg picks I also did St. Patrick's Day lunches so I had some of those picks bunny ears these peep containers were super cute I got those at Walmart too so yeah I just try to look for different things when I'm out and about and if I think it's fun um, I pick them up 
So hopefully that helps you guys out with some ideas on um, products to pick up if you're wanting to pack your kids' lunches. So now let's get into the week and I will show you guys what my kids are taking to school. Okay, so Kira actually requested that I get some of these spinach tortilla wraps. These are just the Mission brand, and for her, I am just rolling up some plain turkey in a wrap, and then for Connor, he likes a little bit more on his, so I'm going to add some mayo along with some turkey and some cheese and some lettuce. So I'll just go ahead and roll those up as tightly as I can and then cut them into pinwheels and then I will put those in the yum boxes for the kids to take for lunch today. Okay, so to their yum boxes, I'm also going to add some raw broccoli and cauliflower. These are vegetables that they really like to eat raw, and so I figured I would put those in there along with some fresh blueberries and some grapes. And then in the other section, I'm going to go ahead and just put some goldfish crackers. I had a few of these from Costco, and then I will just add a few M&Ms for a sweet treat. Okay, so I packed up the kids' yum boxes, and today they are taking turkey wraps on the um, Mission spinach tortillas. So Connor has turkey, a little bit of mayo, some cheese, and some lettuce. I gave him some raw broccoli and cauliflower, some blueberries and some grapes, some goldfish crackers, a few M&Ms, and then I'm also giving them this fruit shoot. These are from Walmart. It's basically just like a zero sugar flavored water. I've been liking to send these because they're a little bit bigger than the juice pouches. And then I'm giving him a Go-Gurt. Um, Kira is taking the same thing except she just has turkey on her wrap um, because she doesn't like cheese on her sandwiches but she likes it separately. I'm giving her one of these Arla medium cheddar cheese sticks and then she's also got the same thing along with the water. And then for breakfast this morning I just made the kids a Nutri-Green Waffle, it has some um, Jif Omega-3 peanut butter on it, and then I just sliced up a banana and put a few little mini chocolate chips on there. So that is what they're having for breakfast and lunch today. Okay, so good morning. I'm going to show you what the kids are taking today for lunch. They are taking the exact same thing, and today is more of quick and easy because I didn't prep anything last night. Sorry for my voice. I seem to be coming down with a cold. Um, but they are taking one of these peanut butter and jelly Uncrustables. I always like to keep these in the freezer for a quick lunch when I'm short on time. They're taking some goldfish crackers, some grapes that I put in a little snack bag, a Go-Gurt, and then I just have one turkey stick for them for a little extra protein and some of the Arla medium cheddar cheese. And then they're also taking one of these fruit shoot uh, flavored water. So that is what they are taking for lunch today. I'm going to get these packed up and head to work. Alright, so today is Friday and today the kids are going to take Lunchables for lunch. So for Connor, I have one of the bologna uh, ones and it has chocolate chip cookies in it. Um, and then, or I guess it just has one chocolate chip cookie. And then um, also I'm giving them some of these freeze-dried apples. These, I get them from Aldi. Here's what the package looks like. And then they're going to take one of these flavored waters again like yesterday. Um, a Jello. These are the lemon meringue flavored cups and both the kids really like them. And then they're going to take some cut up veggies. I have in here some broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, and orange peppers. And then I just have a little package of these Hello Panda cookies. I get these at Costco. Um, Kira has 
the same thing except she has one of the pepperoni lunchables she likes those and then apples veggies um, a jello cup and some um, panda cookies in a flavored water so that is what they're taking for lunch today uh, thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it let me know if you want to see more of what I pack my kids for lunch see you in my next video bye <music>